In this presentation, we're going to look at stockholders' equity. We're going to define what it is just by going through a, a list. But before that, let's look at this template. Okay, we got stockholders' equity, which is on the balance sheet, and it's part of the accounting equation here. We got assets equal liabilities plus stockholders' equity. So we got assets listed down here, liabilities here. And then the stockholders' equity is broken down between contributed capital and earned capital. We got a listing here for both. Then off to the right, we got net income on the income statement with the net income or the revenues and expenses. So let's go here and look at the stockholders' equity section. So uh, first thing we want to look at here is the debits and credits. So normal well looking at a T account here we look at the debit as a decrease it's minus here it decreases like common stock where a credit is a plus it increases so we're gonna look at different accounts here and then that would be this because it's on this side of the equation current liabilities are the same debits decrease credits increase on the T account. Opposed to the assets here where that would be the opposite, the other side of the equation where debits increase, credits decrease. And if we go back over here to net income, we can look at revenues, uh, debits decrease, credits increase, and expenses would be the opposite where debits increase and credits decrease the, the account. Okay. Let's just look at stockholders' equity, what it has. We've got a common stock. This is in the contributed capital. We've got preferred stock, additional paid in capital, and then we have treasury stock down here. Now, this treasury stock acts as a contra account. So the debits increase, the credits decrease, just opposite of what you have in your contri other contributed capital accounts. And then we move over here to earn capital, where we got the retained earnings, where debits decrease, credits increase. And then dividends is like a contra account as well, where debits increase, credits decrease. You can see the difference here. Okay. Then we got other comprehensive income here. That would be the same journal entries here, where debits decrease, credits increase same as retained earnings and then unrealized gains and losses same debits decrease credits increase so this template can be really handy you know, when you're doing your textbook problems in accounting either make one up like this or copy this and when you set it off to the side when you're doing your problems and use it as a reference all right this template is the same as the other one, only I expanded it here where I put down assets are investing activities, liabilities and stockholders' equity are financing activities, and on the income statement, net income would be an operating activity. Okay, let's look at stockholders' equity in, ter in terms of the accounts list here. So. Let's zoom in on this here. We have common stock, preferred stock, treasury stock, stated capital, capital surplus, additional paid in capital, and then we got owners, partners, capital, we got retained earnings, accumulated and other comprehensive income income. Then we got a revaluation reserve. And then I want you to note here where you got the little C at the end of these accounts. Those are contra accounts, and they would be like stock dividends, property dividends, cash dividends, and they work against the normal account. That is, they would reduce the normal account. Then at the end here, we have war warrants and owner's partner's draw. So this is a handy little list. You can just set aside and use it as a reference when you're doing your accounting problems.